Multiple myeloma is a cancer of the plasma cells, which are a type of blood cell produced in the bone marrow. In multiple myeloma, cancerous plasma cells, that is, myeloma cells, grow so fast that they crowd out normal plasma cells. Studies have shown that there are genetic changes in myeloma cells when compared to normal plasma cells. This discovery has opened the door to the possibility of looking at the genetics of myeloma cells to get insight into how myeloma may progress and determining what treatments are likely to be most effective. We'll look more closely at how genetics influences myeloma and its management, but first, let's review some basic genetic terms. DNA is a molecule that contains all of your genetic information. It is found in every cell of your body, organized into structures called chromosomes. Every living organism has a set of chromosomes. This set of chromosomes is referred to as the genome, and it is the genome that doctors look at to get the full picture of a patient's disease. Traditionally, doctors have determined a patient's likely disease course by using bone marrow tests. One such test is the fluorescence in situ hybridization, or FISH test. The FISH test looks at chromosomes in the myeloma cells to see if there are any structural changes. The presence of structural changes in myeloma cell chromosomes can show whether the patient has standard risk or high-risk disease. High-risk disease tends to relapse more quickly. Along with structural changes in the chromosomes, changes in the DNA itself, changes that are referred to as mutations, can also affect prognosis and risk. The ability to detect changes at the DNA level is an exciting breakthrough in myeloma management, as this is the most sensitive method of detecting the changes in plasma cells that contribute to their becoming myeloma cells. Different mutations produce different types or clones of myeloma. And there are several mutations that can cause plasma cells to transform into myeloma cells. The different myeloma clones can change over the course of the disease. And they respond differently to treatment. Identifying the clones that are present in a patient can help the doctor anticipate how that patient's disease will progress and also help the doctor personalize treatment by determining which therapy will be most effective. To put together a patient's genomic profile, the doctor takes myeloma cells from the patient's bone marrow, removes the DNA from these cells, and then runs it through a machine called a sequencer. The sequencer looks at the structure of the DNA, that is, the genetic makeup in the marrow cells, and can determine whether any errors or mutations are present. The genomic profile reveals mutations that may help show a patient's risk of relapse, and whether he or she is a candidate for therapy that specifically targets that mutation. Research conducted in MMRF's COMPASS study has shown that genomic testing, which is much more sensitive because it looks at the level of the DNA, can identify patients with high-risk myeloma that may not have been viewed as high-risk with traditional FISH testing. Precision medicine uses genomic tests to identify the exact myeloma clones that a patient has, and then individualizes treatment based on this genetic blueprint. This is in contrast to the standard non-individualized approach. The MMRF's My Drug Trial uses an individualized approach. It is currently testing different treatments that are known to specifically target genetic mutations in patients with high-risk myeloma. In the My Drug Trial, high-risk patients are those who did not have a long-lasting response to usual treatment. Patients enrolled in the My Drug Trial undergo genome sequencing and, based on their unique myeloma mutations, are matched to a specific targeted treatment. In addition to receiving the targeted treatment, all patients are also given the standard of care regimen. High-risk patients with no mutations detected receive a four-drug combination, a treatment that is not currently FDA-approved. Your doctor can tell you if genomic testing is available to you and what the results might mean for your care.